Uh, all the shopping you've done will hopefully pay off when you see that special someone opening up your gift and you get the reaction. Maybe the best gift they've ever received. Or it could be the worst thing they ever laid eyes on. Uh, CBC intern Brian Tobin braved the crowds of holiday shoppers to get the best and worst of Christmas gift giving. What's the best uh, Christmas gift you got last year? Nice winter jacket, echo jacket. Well, this year would be my trip to Vancouver, which is like, the flight ticket is uh, costly, it's about like 800 round trip, so, yeah. Best Christmas gift I got last year, uh, was a little after Christmas, I got a 1973 Corvette. Oh, I got some electronics and things of that nature, and of course some personal items, that type of thing. I actually got a two-month fee membership of Muay Thai at the gym, um, and the best thing for that is um, I've always wanted to do Muay Thai, and I got it for free. And over there, it's like pretty costly for a student. Remember, I got this little talking tree once. I swear to God, I used to sing this acorn, an acorn. Uh, I can't remember what it was now, what it calls on, but it's a nice song. It sings a song. Can you sing it for us? No, no, <laughs> no song. No. What's the worst one you got? No, I don't say any any gift I got was no worse. There's no worse gift. A teddy bear. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't cute at all. Like the color and it looked scary, so <laughs> I was like, did you really get me this? Worst Christmas gift I ever got, uh, when I was a teenager, I got a light bright and I figured I was a little more mature. Uh, they need something other than a light break. That's, oh, that's true. <laughs> I hope that's the sad part. Well, there you go. A scary teddy bear, a light bright for a teenager for Christmas could always be worse. Light Bright was fun. I remember the Light Bright. Well, that was CBC intern Brian Tobin getting your thoughts on the best and worst Christmas presents you've received. If you'd like to share your best or your worst, we'd love to hear from you. You can call Talk Back 1-800-465-6846 or 576-5207. It's that time of year when we're out shopping and trying to stay on budget. Uh, I don't know if you're like me, but when I go out, I have a mental map in my head about how much I'm going to spend on each person. <laughs> so, you know, like some people are worth 20 bucks. My sister say around 40, that kind of thing. I always spend more than planned, however. Uh, we sent CBC intern Brian Tobin to Water Street in St. John's to get some people's thoughts. Have you been overspending this Christmas? Uh, no, I've been spending my regular amount, $500 total for all the gifts I'm getting. Yes, a lot. <laughs> like 100 bucks too much on each, yeah, yeah, each person. I've never been overspending. I spend the same as I did last year and, and the year before and the year before. It's not an option. You do what you got to do. I think uh, my partner would say I've been overspending, <laughs> but I feel like I've been doing pretty good. I think the overspending comes into play when you don't actually plan what your gifts are. And... Um, you start shopping in a rushed way, and then you can kind of overspend by hundreds of dollars, you know, depending on what your original budget was. Uh, I would say I haven't been overspending. Uh, like, as an, as an economist, like, I know better not to spend so much, so, yeah, I would say no. Uh, nope, I haven't been, just because uh, I've, I've got a lot of uh, more other expenses I think of, and uh, I think, you know, I'd rather keep my money to myself a little bit and save a little bit more money. So I don't want to go bankrupt because <laughs> of Christmas, right? <laughs> Had someone tell you not to get a gift for them? All the time. And I'm you... standing by one right here. <laughs> and do you continue to buy him stuff? Yes. <laughs> Right. Down the underwear. <laughs> um, I would say I had a scenario, but I still went ahead to get a gift because sometimes people just don't tell you, they just tell you they don't want a gift or well, indirectly they want a gift. So you just go ahead and get them a gift, even if it's small, if it's big, like just do it. 
it's 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 the season, right? Oh, absolutely. I mean, you know, like for people who feel that they have lots in their life and they don't need anything, or so depending on who said it to me, um, I'll donate to a charity in their name, or you know, give a gift to the Happy Tree, or you know, in their name or something like that. Um, and then just write them a card and just let them know that this was done um, in honor of them and, you know, and, and just let them know through words what I appreciated about them. Because you give gifts because you, you know, you're showing appreciation and, and love to someone. Yeah, my parents. I, yeah. yeah. I'm getting it anyways, though. Yeah. <laughs> uh, a lot of people, actually, uh, especially where you got to go and she tells you, don't get, don't get me a gift, right? And you don't get a gift, she go get mad. So you eventually go get, you have to get a gift. So you don't rely on, oh, no, don't get me a gift. Because sometimes some people are too shy and uh, they don't know if, uh, you know, you know, taking a gift from you is, uh, you know, the right thing to do at the right time, at that time, at that moment. So, yeah. That was the CBC's Brian Tobin, B-R-Y-A-N. He was down on Water Street in St. John's.